Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And those of you who are actually on my Discord know that I've been sick for quite some time. I actually had pneumonia, then ended up catching COVID and I've been basically bedridden for a while. And it's gotten to the point where anytime I cough, I would have a headache. It was, it was pretty bad. Anyway, which leads me to this topic of this tablet. So we're gonna be checking it out. This tablet is actually from Juno Computers, which is a friend of mine. I've actually reviewed a couple of his computers before. This is a full Linux based tablet based off Debian 11 Mobian. An operating system I've never actually tested before, but it is made for mobile devices like this. Now, because I've been bedridden, I didn't want to use a full laptop or even get up to use my desktop. So this actually came in at a perfect time where I'm actually able to review this. Now I do have to return it back to him and I will detox it before I give it back to him. But the point is, it actually was very useful. I'm surprised on how well this was able to handle a lot of the tasks that I was trying to do, which is watch videos, Netflix, uh, Plex Media Server, uh, answer emails, stuff like that. So um, I was surprised on how well it did handle. Now, even without having a keyboard, I did have to get used to the touchscreen itself, but otherwise, it wasn't bad at all. Now, as far as the device goes, it is running on one of my favorite CPUs, which is the Intel Celeron. N5105, which I have plenty of devices around that uses that, especially one of my main computers that I remote into is on a N5105 with eight gigs of RAM. This is no difference. This is still the N5105 with eight gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. Obviously, if you're not gonna be installing any games, that's plenty of space for this. Now, the CPU is mainly used for desktop usage, like office work, browsing, videos, stuff like that, but not for games. So yeah trying to get games to work on this role wasn't even part of my list of things to do but as far as browsing the web and everything works very well as far as the connection goes on this you do have a 3.5 millimeter jack up and down volumes and then the power button over here on the side on top you have an sd card slot so you can expand the storage if you need to and then on the side you have your uh, barrel connected to charge device micro hdmi usb 3 and then a USB-C. Now you can use the USB-C to also charge the device if you wanted to, but I've been using the barrel connector myself. Now, as far as battery life goes, I've tested it to a point where it was able to last five to six hours on one charge, but that's not heavy tasks. That's just literally browsing, not even watching videos. I'm just browsing the web, answering emails, stuff like that. Five to six hours, definitely. Now, if you start to play media, I was getting about three hours just straight up watching a movie back to back and YouTube video. So about three hours, just full media. It's definitely comparable to some of the laptops that I have, not better than Android devices that I've played around with before. Now I'm not a big tablet person. That's just because I like using a desktop itself or a laptop. But yeah, I, I am converting a little because I do like this device. So as far as the Mobian desktop system, you can rotate it to whatever uh, orientation that you want. And to show off a little bit, you can use this as a tablet mode or a desktop mode. Right now it's in tablet mode, so anytime that I open an app, say like, uh, let's see, usage, it's gonna open full screen. And as you can see, this has been running for a little bit, I only got 26% battery left. The desktop runs about 1.2 gigabytes with available 6.9 left over. As far as the storage goes, it used about 10 gigs, but I do have a few applications installed in here. So it's like more 9.5. Now, if you wanna close out an application, all you have to do is just swipe up and that will get rid of the applications. Now you can use Mobian settings to change around some of the settings that you want on the desktop. Uh, you could change the compositor, lock screen. Um, I don't know what this is actually. But what I've noticed that I used a lot was web apps. Now this might look blank because I don't have much stuff installed. This is a fresh install again, just to make this video because I actually had a lot of applications to a point where I wanted to redo everything. So I installed a few things, but not a lot. One of the things that I did install is Plex. And I was actually surviving off this for a while, this Plex media server uh, client. And I was able to watch all the videos that I want from this. But one of the things you gotta notice is that M Mobian runs Wayland. So what that means is, I couldn't get this app to work at first and it took me a while to figure out, which ended up to be, um, you need to install Flat Seal and converting the app to allow for Wayland. Um, took me a little bit of Googling to figure out, but it did work at the end. All I have to do is install Flex Seal, go down here and enable this Wayland windowing support. And a lot of applications that don't support uh, Wayland, this is how you could get it to work. 
Now browsing itself was pretty fast too. I can just go right into Firefox. The browser ends up on the bottom. This is the keyboard itself. And then you could just go into YouTube and browse through everything that you want. It's actually pretty comfortable using this. You could see how I'm just moving up and down. I did watch a lot of van line stuff or venturing stuff. That's why you see a lot of venture videos. I love Mav. Mav is an awesome video. Uh, but yeah, there is a bunch of stuff you could do here. Video playback is pretty good. So if I was to search for yeah, Nova Spirit Tech, and I'll watch, say, my latest video, which is a pretty good video. I actually spent a lot of time playing the retro emulation. But on here, a run, run away. I am not going to play this video, but yes, you guys should check it out. Otherwise, the desktop works very well. They have a lot of stuff. You also can get a stylus. So if I got a paint app, which is not the best paint app here, um, it does work with paint. See, it's weird. It just gives me this little weird box and I can't stretch it out, but it does work. And if you float over stuff, you can see um, that it does highlight stuff and you can see the mouse working. I don't have to touch the device itself and it does work. But yeah, that paint app was terrible. Uh, Karita does not work here because it's, it's a weird support for Wayland. So I actually can't get the touch working for Karita. It might be fixed in the future, but I'm not sure. Now say I want to install an application. Um, let's do cheese which is a webcam application i just type it in here click on it install this one's from flat hub uh, and there you go this is my gopro as you can see that I, that's where i'm recording from but yeah this camera is working now as far as the audio goes it is pretty loud it's very hard to show audio when i'm recording but you gotta take my word for it uh, audio is pretty good but yeah this is the audio right now at like really low because that's how i was using it for but look i'm gonna raise it and it gets really loud. Now, I'm only like a quarter of the way. So yeah, I'm not gonna go as far, but I was using mostly headphones or the very low volume um, when I was playing videos. But yes, video plays perfectly fine. I can switch this over full screen. Actually, let me just kind of shake this tab like that. And there, it actually works really, really well, especially watching full screen like this. Now, as far as the problems go, I did run into a lot of problems because I've been using this exclusively as my desktop. And keep in mind, it does have, it has nothing to do with the hardware itself. It's more towards the software, which is Mo Mobian. And it's something they should look into. One, the lock screen locks me out at times where I can't even input the password anymore. I mean, I could input the password, but there's no extra button for me to actually um, apply it or en hit enter. So I get stuck on the lock screen and the only way to fix it is to hold the power button to perform a full reboot. Again, not the desktop, not the hardware fault, but more of the software fault. And it's supposed to look like this when you get in, there's a little button on the bottom that says unlock. Two, multitasking is not a thing on the Zapper system, unless you use um, the docked mode. Um, otherwise, like if you're in tablet mode, I can't split screen, I can't run two things at once, which is a little annoying because I want to read a document while I'm watching a YouTube video, and I can't do that because um, this operating system does not support multi operating system, um, multitasking. So that's something to worry about in the future if you're going to use this operating system. Again, this is an Intel Celeron CPU, so you can install any operating system on here, Windows, Linux, whatever, but yeah, I'm just exclusively using Mobian. I do like the fact that you can sit this tablet at a lot of angles. Mainly, I would sit it like here against the bed so I could just watch any videos, or you could sleep it down and have the arm go this far down and have it uh, put on your desk like this. And this mode works as well. I forgot what angle this is, but this is a pretty steep angle that you could actually use it on a desk. Other than that, I did enjoy using it for about two weeks throughout the course of me having COVID and everything and not wanting to get out of bed. So if you guys are interested, I'll leave everything linked down in the description below. And honestly, now that I finished this video of Mobian, I'm actually interested in installing KDE on here or GNOME just to see how it works because I know they have uh, touchscreen support as well. I just wanted to see how well those things work while I still have the device. So I might make those videos out. Let me know if you guys are interested. And if you guys have any questions, hit me up down in the comments below or on my Discord. And if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.